What is up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So today I'm stood on top of a hill outside of my city here in Japan. And today's video is going to be half in Japan and half in Australia because I want to introduce you to my new favorite YouTuber, a guy called Balti. Not Chicken Balti, but Bolt Bucket. Some people say he's the man, the myth, the legend. No, I'm just an Aussie bogan, mate. As far as uh, myth and legend goes, I can think of some slightly different ways to describe you, mate, but uh, yeah, whatever you say. So, yeah, this is the first time I've ever done like an introduction type video, so why don't you go ahead and tell my viewers a little bit about yourself. Uh, your pronoun, your inside leg measurement, where you're from, and what your channel's all about, or something of that nature. G'day TJ, thanks for having me on board. Yeah, I'm just a bohegan. Check that out. So I'm from south of Adelaide. A place called Wolf of Vale. And I'm right near the beach. Look at that, look at that view. I hope it's coming through all right. The tide's out a bit, so I was exposing the, yeah, the reef there and whatnot. As for my inside leg measurement, I'd have no idea. I'm six foot four, and I can get on most adventure bikes pretty easily. How's that? So, this is a bit of what my channel's about. Got some beach rides. Also go just over there, there's some hills. I do some maintenance, I do some modifications. And my modifications is pretty much the stuff I've made because I've got no dough. <laughs> Bit light on the cash department. So, instead of going buying off the shelf stuff, I'll make my gear. I made my highway pegs, made my sissy bar, redone my seat. You know, there's, there's a few little bits and pieces I've done. And what probably draws a lot of people into the channel and that is my exhaust. Those flappers back there. <laughs> Custom made, one of a kind. Yeah, right on, man. That's cool. So, yeah, one of the reasons that I um, found your channel is because I was just watching random bike videos one day and I started recognising the places that you were riding to in your video because it was Adelaide and I lived in Adelaide for a year so I just really liked your video because I was uh, seeing places that I knew which was cool and obviously I just like your, your style and sense of humour and stuff. Now, why don't you talk to us about your bike? This is the perfect time because I'm right behind a garbage truck. So yeah, tell us a bit about your bike mate. Alright, so my bike. Well let's pull over and we'll talk about the bike. Here's about as good a place as any. So we're right there, my fellas. All right, so right here is the Onkaparinga mouth. Yeah, how good a view is that? Oh, look at that. This is why you need to come to Adelaide, Australia. But anyway, the bike. It's a 2005 Kawasaki VN800A, the classic. And isn't it just a classic? Look at that. Obviously, you can see I've done a few things to make it not stand out so much. Even little things like raise that tank up a little bit at the front to see, give it that little extra something. So I've taken off that front guard, I've chopped the rear. I've also made these pipes. Look at that, just a bit of steel, weld, and the flappers. Stolen that air cleaner off my uncle's old BSA, chucked some foam in it, made those highway pegs some more steel just lying around at work. The bars are already on it, which was good. The seat, however, has got some extra padding in it. It's got this vinyl, but now I've put a bit of a Mexican cover on there. Wow, did you do this yourself? Yeah, I got to do it myself, man. Wow, looks fantastic, man. Yeah, I guess it does, man. <laughs> this sissy bar, made it still at work as well. Got some checker plate there and put a bag on. Just simple stuff. And don't forget, you gotta have at least one skull on your bike. It's just simple gear. And I get these guys on the Harleys and all that. They give me the nod, bit of respect, it's awesome. Now the other thing I did, 
was a tribute to the moto vloggers out there sending me, you know, their stickers and that. So, I've chucked them on the tank. The paint was shocking anyway. It's no skin off my nose. And now, I love it. Look at it. It's a one of a kind. I have been gifted some Moto Trash stickers. Good old Moto Trash over in the US. So, it's one of a kind. Just one of those things where people have a look, have a bit of fun. And again, that's what my channel's about. It's about having some fun. Now, as you know, I'm basically a hoon on two wheels, so I can't see myself getting a cruiser bike anytime soon. But I do have a secret yearning to own one one day, so when I'm rich and famous, I'll add one to the stable. Uh, now, as far as your channel goes, have you got anything special planned for the future? Is there any interest in getting a drone or a 360 cam or any kind of special videos? What you got planned, dude? So as far as my channel, I'm always trying to grow it, change it up a bit, do, do some different things instead of just the normal moto vlogging. Uh, you know, trying to make it a bit different, a bit more entertaining where I can. So as for different cameras and all that, I've only got the old GoPros at the moment and my phone that I use as well at times. And I do want to progress and, and do something. I'm not sure about the drone yet. That might be a little later in the piece. I'm not quite there. What I would like to do is get an like Insta or GoPro, like a 360 camera and mount it up and then just be able to run that one camera and select the view I want and I'll use an external mic. And that way I can show off my new helmet. Well, not new helmet, but the helmet that we've changed up a bit thanks to my mate. So I'm always trying to do something new and exciting and I'm trying to include the moto vlogging community as well where I can and get everyone together, you know, liking each other, following each other, from there oh yeah anyway finally have you got any shout outs is there anyone that you want to plug anyone you want to thank or anyone that you think my viewers should also be watching as well as your good self mr bolton putting me on the spot for shout outs now i talk to a lot of vloggers in the community and i've got love for a lot of them so oh check out that truck that's pretty cool uh, this is Moana by the way, that's why I rode on the beach not too long ago. <laughs> anyway, so vloggers a shout out. Have a look at this tank. There's quite a few on here that you need to go check out. I've got to have a massive list. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. Let's do a list of it. I'll put this in the post credits along here so you can get a bit of an idea because I'm afraid I'm going to miss some people and I probably still will in the list how's that for a bug so we come up here pretty boring scenery here So check these guys out. Have a look at all them. Take a gander, have a sus. Because I've got mad love for so many vloggers out there. I've talked to so many of them and so many helped me out. Following me and I'm following them. So hopefully you see some names up there, check them out back have a look at the stickers on the bike there's a heap on there and if you can go to my channel and check out the iron bolt bucket video now tj here kind of missed the cut on that one it was a bit late but there's some fine vloggers on there you should probably go suss out so thanks for having me TJ, it's been much appreciated. I love your channel, I always watch what you're doing. Right now I've got to go get some fuel. And the fuel prices everywhere I looked were about $1.90 a litre for regular, so stuff that, this place is a bit cheaper. 
I'll catch you next time, mate. Have a good one. Cheers. All right, Mr. Bolt Bucket. Well, thank you very much for being tonight's special guest on New Tuba. <laughs> yeah, it was a pleasure talking to you, and I hope that my subscribers will also take an interest and have a look at your channel. So, guys, if you're watching this, go ahead and have a subscribe to old Bolt Bucket. His channel is listed in my description. Oh, look at that. What a bike to end on. It's almost like a Bolt Bucket esque type of bike. That wasn't planned at all. So we got a nice old bolt bucket style bike and some. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Ciao.